Hello guys, today we gonna talk about Moore's Law. 52 years back, a man named George E. Moore predicted that every two-year transistor and a chip get doubled while production cost gets halved. Okay. Do you remember that Nokia 1100 phone from 2003 or 2004? Which have 25 megabits of memory and you can play snake game on it. Now, we have iPhone X which will have around 256 gigabits of internal storage, but have you ever wonder how it's possible? How can a phone become the so powerful in this short period of time? The answer is because of Mori Law. Now, let's me clarify that it's not a real law of physics or something. It's only, I say, is prediction law which driving companies to make better and powerful chips. The law states that every two years transistor and a chip get doubled while production cost gets halved. A transistor is basically an electrically driven switch which allowed passage of electrons. To make it simple, you can consider it as a switch which can on or off. Now, a laptop today or an iPhone has a 2 or 3 billion of the transistor in its chips. If we want to more and more powerful chips in laptops, we're giving up so much space in this chips for transistors. And as I said that transistor allows electrons to pass through it. But where is space to design it in next chips? Already 2 or 3 billions of transistor are already in current laptops. And chips are currently based on 10 nanometers nowadays. That's smaller than a red blood cell. Now, as we keep increasing transistors and chips, the more space it eats up. And there is a point where electrons get transferring whether we're giving power to chip or not. That process is called quantum tunneling. It creates a lots of problems like more electricity consuming and heating issue even chips can melt. So, to solve this problem, we can shift towards quantum computer or we can abandon silicon chips and instead of silicon, we can use graphite to make chips. Finally, does more law coming to end? Yes, prediction shows that by 2025, more law will be violated or come to end. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy it, give it thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you want to know about quantum computers, I added it in cards above, go and see it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care and goodbye.